Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jess, back again with another video. So it's my favorite time of year again. It's the holiday season. So it's October now. Um, I love Halloween. I love dressing up. I love doing anything that has to do with Halloween. It's so... I just, I get, I love Halloween. I love Halloween so much. I love dressing up and I love being something that I'm not because, yeah, why would I want to be me? So, <laughs> this is my tutorial for this makeup Halloween glam look. Yeah, I took inspiration from the Vampire Diaries. It's pretty basic, honestly. Like, if you don't have enough money to go out and get a Halloween costume, which I understand it's expensive. Like how, how are you gonna pay like 70 bucks like for like a decent Halloween costume? No, I understand. So here's an alternative, just do your makeup and you can be a vampire, okay? Like this is, yeah. So this is Nina Dobrev as Katerina Petrova or Elena Gilbert um, later on in the series, sorry. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> if you are on a budget, like me, but you still want to dress up for Halloween, here's a good idea. I really like how this turned out. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty. <laughs> so, I might just do this. We'll see if I can come up with anything else. But I mean, it's also pretty basic, so I don't know. But I mean, if you want to be a basic binge like me, hope you guys enjoy this video uh, make sure to uh, like comment and subscribe down below what you want to be for Halloween or what you're planning on being for Halloween because I plan on being a lot of things but do I end up being them no <laughs> so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video I really enjoyed working on it and stuff so yeah. bye and trying to be in character ready three two one <laughs> So to start off this look, we're going to begin with your regular makeup routine, and I feel like I've explained mine often enough to the point where it becomes a little bit annoying, so if I fail to mention any products, they'll be listed down below. And with that, we'll just do a brief overview of my regular routine, this way I don't bore you to death. So it starts off with moisturizing, and then I prime, and then I do my brows, which is before foundation, because you know, I like to be able to clean them up, because you know you don't want your brows to look all lit. <laughs> And what I like to use is my foundation. But you know, you can use whatever product if you're choosing. I just choose to do it this way. And after you're done cleaning them up, what you're gonna do is set your brows now. And I like to use the NYX Control Freak because girl, your brows don't go anywhere. They don't move, they stay still. Especially on a night of spookiness, okay? You don't want your brows to be spooked off your face, right? <laughs> and finally, once you're done with your brows, is face. And what I like to use is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend out my foundation and concealer on top of that. Both, by the way, are by Maybelline's Fit Me collection. Because, girl, we want to hide those imperfections. And believe me, there's a lot. <laughs> Once you're done applying all that jazz, you're going to want to set your face with whatever the heck kind of product you want to set your face with. I like to use Airspun's Translucent Powder, only $6 at Walmart. And now that you look like a white ghost, you're going to want to bring some life back to the undead by warming up your face with some bronzer. And lately I've been using two kinds of bronzers, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and Hoola by Benefit. I don't know, I guess I'm just extra like that, or it could just be that I just like how it looks. I don't know, but you know, you do you, I'll do me. And then when you're done bronzing, you know the drill girl, next up is blush because you want to add some rosiness back to those cheekbones but don't add too much amiga because we're still supposed to be dead at least partly and with this next part it's not necessary honestly i just like to chisel out my contour make it more prominent so i do this so whether you choose to skip that step or not after you're gonna highlight whatever the heck you want to highlight on your face and then you're gonna prime your eyes with your best eyeshadow primer because you do not want all that hard work to go to waste and your eyeshadow to crease no, we don't want that. And now the next move is eyeshadow because we just primed and prepped for that. Duh, why would you do that if you weren't gonna do eyeshadow? And today we're gonna be using Morphe's 350 palette. And for your base color, you're just gonna use a very light beige tan color and you're gonna slowly get darker with the beige tones because what you're gonna ultimately wanna do is build up to this 
dark brown, almost blackish smoky eye look. Or maybe it's like a smoky eye slash cat eye look at the top. I guess because more of the dark aspects are being focused on in the upper crease portion of your eye. And to make this more of a dramatic, romantic vampire look, because you know, Katarina Petrova, Lena Gilbert, you're gonna add some of those dark colors and blend them on your under eye portion. Like that. There you go. And remember, cat eye, smoky eye, romantic look equals dark colors and upper outer crease portion of eye. So, wow, voila, done. See? Wow. So we're still gonna stick with the eyeshadows and using a thin precision brush, you're gonna dip it into the blackest of the blackest eyeshadows that you can find in any of your palettes and make these squiggly lines starting from the bottom portion of your eye going down to the upper portion of the cheek area of your face. And what this is supposed to do is give off the effect that your eyes are all veiny and gross and bleh, just like the vampires in Vampire Diaries, you know, when they're all hungry or mad or about to attack you. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're just gonna be repeatedly and continuously making these squiggly lines all over your under eye. And what I'm doing next is I'm shading my under eyes with reddish brownish tones uh, to create the illusion also that the blood is sort of flowing to my eyes because you know in the vampire diaries when they're in this like angry state and they're about to pounce and they're like they look like a vampire well their eyes look sort of like bloodshot and red and just I can't do that naturally at least so eyeshadow is the next best thing Oh, also, what I forgot to mention is that you would probably want to do this first because you see what I'm doing? I'm remaking my veins. Yeah, you're not going to want to go through that hassle again. So you should probably do the red under eye shadow first. <laughs> Just a quick pro tip. And now we're finally moving away from the eyes and onto the lips. So because I don't actually own any lip liners, I'm going to sort of be makeshifting my own and cheating on the lip liner. So what I was doing was that I grabbed like a purpley plum MAC lipstick, the name will be listed down below, and I used like a lip brush and I tried outlining my lips with that. And when I was finished with that MAC lipstick, I realized that it was too much of a plum color and I wanted more of a brown red brick color because I'm gonna be later on filling in my lips with this red color. So I was just like, it's not gonna work. And then because I had to start all over with the lip lining, I got really lazy and just ended up using the lipstick from the tube and just tried to be precise with that. But anyways, <laughs> just make sure you have the right lip liner. And next I'm just gonna be filling in my lips with just your basic drugstore average red liquid lipstick. And it's matte in two, I think so. Yeah, just any red lipstick will do. And when I'm done filling in my lips, I'm just gonna add like a drop to whichever corner you want of the liquid lipstick. And I'm also gonna be like shading it and filling it in with that red brick lipstick color as well to make it look like we have some blood left over from our latest kill, you know, vampire, yo. Yep, so. And then after that, you're done, woo. Now we just gotta fix our hair to match the really nice makeup. So let's go do that, BRB. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. It didn't take that long, but I mean, I also had to like do my actual makeup. Um, but you know, now I gotta, now I gotta take it all off. <laughs> Cause I can't go out in public like this. No, <laughs> people already think I'm weird enough. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Hopefully it'll be another Halloween one because, you know, why just make one when you can make multiple ones? Don't. Yeah, okay. Um, see you guys in my next video. Adios. Bye. <laughs>